Hello everyone, Nebuka here. Welcome to this next episode of Let's Play Trails of Cold Steel 3. So, we have started exploring the summer festival here in Ordis, and um, it's been neat so far. I've been really been enjoying it. We got a side quest done in the last episode, and we already went through the Noble and Harbor Districts. So, I haven't talked to the people here in the hotel. Where are we? Where's the hotel at? Oh, it's in the business. Okay. Before we explore the business area, since that's where the next part is, I want to go to the North Street first. We have not explored there, and I am curious to see what there is. Hello, uh, citizen. <laughs> that is a lovely name. The night's really kicking into high gear. I love festivals. Last year was terrible. I really need to enjoy it this year. Well, enjoy, citizen. And you are... Tonyo. <laughs> it's lively again this year. Back in the day, they used to dance through the night. That's because the spirits like it when we're lively. Huh. I like that. I don't know why. <laughs> Let's see, um, Vier. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna walk around. Angelo took the day off, so it would be a waste if we don't enjoy it. Dance the night away. Yay! We're going out with Angelo. Where are we gonna go first? Wow, it's so lively. Feels extra refreshing after we've missed out on last year. All right, I'm gonna take Mom and Luca around to check out all the stalls. Oh, that's nice. Nothing like your boy coming home after serving his country. Let's see. I mean, not not that I know. <laughs> I have no children. Uh, let's see. Tourist, hello. Wow, there are so many types of stores. That glass workshop is nice too. I want to check it out. By all means. I know we spoke to these people in the last time. So let me see what they sell. Me. We're good. Thank you. The Orbo Factory. I don't like it when things get tumultuous. I don't care about what's going on in the world. If there's one thing I do care about is my promise to Lord Alfred. We were friends when he was alive. I always told him that I would send him a piece of high quality glasswork. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing stays with you like an unfulfillable promise. It's no consolation, I'll admit, but I'll continue to maintain the glass for the Kayan estate. As long as I still live, that's a promise I can keep. You got it, Strauss. Good evening! We're open late today. Gramps may not like it, but we need to focus on our neighborly relations. Here, to commemorate the Ordis Summer Festival of 1206. Oh! Oh, that's so kind! Thank you! Wow! It's so pretty! We can have this? We can't really provide food, so we hand out crafts. It's actually good practice for me. Summer festival is awesome. Last year's was cancelled, so all we did was greet our neighbors. Well, to be fair, General Aurelia was still in the naval fortress. <laughs> Let's see. We already have them all open, right? Yes, I'm so happy about that. <laughs> Took forever. Uh, okay, strengthen. I don't even think so. It's very rare when we get to buy new weapons compared to like the previous games. Um, thank you. Okay, let's see. The political situation has thankfully calmed down, though. The sea was rather calm last year itself. You can count that as a blessing with how turbulent the times already were. Hello, it's good to see you. There's so much going on this year with the tax reform and all. 
Hello, would you like a crepe? A crepe? I've never known how to say that word. We've got the best crepes on the coast. Creeps? <laughs> Crepes? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll show that granny. I'll show that granny this time. Let's see. Nope. No, thank you. Welcome, one and all. We are a residence association and this is our juice stall. Oh, are you guys out on a date? I'm so jealous. What? All of us? Oh, you can tell? Oh, of course. Hey, don't try to grab his arm. Settle down, girls. Aye, oh, Reen. Settle down, ladies. There's a little bit of Reen for everyone. Oh, you're a dear friend of the young ladies. How is everything going? People are going to be out of control today. It's a time worth celebrating, sure, but there will be drunken idiots everywhere. Enjoy yourselves, but be careful. Thank you. We sure will. Okay, I don't think we got to go in here. At the inn. The tavern and inn. Yeah, definitely not. Betty finally came around to helping her parents out. She's actually not too bad at cooking and taking care of the house. If her standards weren't so high, she would have had a boyfriend by now. Don't be shy! We're serving everyone who comes in today. Come on, we still have tons of seats. If, if you please, Marina, can I please talk to Blanca here? Anyway, she seems so happy while she's working. I guess not worrying about anything is the ultimate peace of mind. Bravo! It's so fun to drink at a commoner's bar during the festival. Reading through his this logbook sets the perfect mood to match the lanterns twinkling out on the bay. <laughs> it's about to descend on me a new masterpiece of song. I paid Sir Altheim a visit earlier, and I am pleased to report he's a full of He's as full of vim and vigor as ever. I simply cannot wait for my latest masterpiece to be complete so that I can present it to him. Those who leave town for work some come back during the summer festival. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing all the stories. So how's work treating you? I heard the mines are really busy. The road there is always crowded. It's been slowing down my truck. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Alright, everyone, let's sing. If you don't sing, you ain't no fisherman. <laughs> You're drunk, old man. Your accent's coming out. <laughs> oh, this, these are a cool group of dudes. The seas have been calm and the catch has been decent. Those are the most important things for us fishermen. <laughs> I guess we gotta celebrate to thank Adios and the spirits. Rise above the blue waves, far beyond the horizon. Why don't you sing along? <laughs> Old man Russell. I'm good. I just stopped in here because I was tired and they gave me a free side dish. Things like that really make me happy. Free food would make me happy too, lady. So this is the local drink of orders. It's hitting me just right. The town is bustling and the food is good. This is the best. Welcome. My mom told me there'd be loads of handsome men coming in for the summer festival. Oh, I'm getting so excited. Come on, hotties. Come on. Oh my god. I guess lending a hand around here for the summer festival isn't so bad. Come on, hotties. Oh my god, who says that? Just stop. Welcome. Tonight is a special night. Thank you for coming. Have some of these. Oh my gosh, thank you. I put some extra oomph into making these. I hope you enjoy them. So, Betty still can't find a boyfriend, huh? I've got the perfect boy for her. No, it's okay. She's just being selfish. 
She's still a child, so don't get her started. I won't allow her to have a boyfriend. <laughs> there you go again. Betty, can you please? Oh, every time. It's a tradition in this neighborhood to gather here during the summer festival. Now, now, sit down, you guys. Let's all drink together. Betty, I understand that I am a very attractive hottie that you are looking for, but you gotta stop following me, girl. After talking with her mother, Betty started helping with the business. I honestly couldn't be more relieved. I'm a little concerned by just how much she's getting into it, but it's better than the, al the alternative. Thank you so much for the foods. See, free food does make me happy. <laughs> Could use some free food right now. Let's see, where else are we going? Are we- Oh, we gotta go to Musee's place! Of course! Oh wow, what are they doing out here? Oh, Grandfather! Are you heading out? There are quite a few people I need to go thank for their help this past year. After that, we plan on relaxing and watching the ocean. Would you care to join us? Thanks for the offer, but we need to head out soon. That's a shame. Well, at least take these. They're some of the gifts we're giving our neighbors. <gasps> oh my gosh, thank you. My, thank you so much. We'll be sure to make good use of them. I'm happy to hear it. It will be cold out tonight, so please dress warmly, everyone. I shall take care of Master. I will make sure he doesn't get sick. Please have a good time, everyone, but do be careful. <laughs> I need to make sure to enjoy Ordis's most time-honored event. You should all drop what you're doing and enjoy yourselves. <laughs> I got turned down. Stop by whenever you have an opportunity. We can have tea together. How dare I turn down Musei's folks. They are good people. Okay, so we are done with the north area, so we can now go to the business. I am curious why the hell this is available, so let me go see. Just to see if there's any uh, exclamation points anywhere. Oh, have we not talked to these guys to be able to use the horses? If I can. Oh my god. Now ride on, Wonder! Ride to ensure Nines' victory! Are they gonna have a race or something? Training until midnight coupled with a strict weight loss regimen. Yep, I'm definitely gonna die! Or not, they're just training. Good for them. Huh, who's that? Oh, it might be Annabelle. Still fishing this late? Oh, that girl. Let me go check. Let's get going. Go, go. Go, go. It is probably Annabelle, but I should still double check. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> what if I want to take my bike into the beach? Annabelle, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, wow, you could even see the lanterns over there. That's awesome. Ah, I've never had a session of night fishing quite this lovely before. The lights in the distance dancing on the water. It really ignites my angler's soul. <laughs> I'm feeling great. I bet I could even fish up a blue marlin. Annabelle sure is something else. She's not even budging, budging a single rage. Oh yes, I nearly forgot. The Imperial Fishing Club recently sent me a few prizes in the mail. Amongst the prizes was this book. Oh, man. I don't think I'll have time to get to it, unfortunately, so perhaps you should take it. <laughs> I'm certain it would be much happier in the hands of someone who would read it. Yes! Ah, I agree. Thank you very much. Yay! And we even got a character note for her. Oh my gosh, this was so important. Oh, I'm so glad I came out here. I wasn't even going to talk to her because I figured it was her and I figured she wasn't going to say anything important or give me anything. Man, I'm glad I was go, wrong. Go. 
now makes me like want to check out all these other places just in case. I don't think there's anything here, right? This is like a story part that has nothing but uh Let's get going. Go, go. Ah uh, there you go. I, I didn't even need it. I'm so stupid. Ah, excuse me. Okay, then let's try the other way. Whoa. Oh, no, I can't. Nope, can't. All right. Haha, <laughs> that was great. Okay, let's go to the... No! <gasps> cutscene, isn't it? It's gonna be a cutscene. Gosh darn it. Oopsies. Oh no, it's not. Ah! <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, now we gotta explore this area. Hello. Hello, everyone. Ladies. <laughs> Yee! Look at that. Just look at that. You've gotta get a photo. No, three photos. You heard her. Three photos. Fuck! The festival's already started. Come on, get the let out. Good work today. Wait, you're not heading back already, are you? Take some time to enjoy the festival before you go. Oh, I am. I am. The summer festival's so wonderful. We didn't hold one last year, so this year's feels extra special. Days like these are precious, so make the most of it while you're here. We will, thank you. You too. They'll be nominating Duke Kayan's successor on the last day of the council. While I am rather curious, I won't let my curiosity distract me from a magnificent night such as this. I agree. My lord and lady are still in high spirits. The council was a lot of work, but they seem largely unfazed. They never failed to impress me. If only all nobles could be so dutiful. Ortis' summer festival never loses its luster, no matter how often I attend. <laughs> My husband is so focused on finding himself a son-in-law. But it's clear to me that Mary already has someone. It may be an issue for my husband that someone is a commoner. That that someone is a commoner, but as Mary's mother, I just want to support her. Aww. I'm not too worried about Mary. If anything, I'd sa I'm sad about how slowly things seem to be progressing. Perhaps I should ask Alice to investigate again. <laughs> what foolishness! How much time can they spend on a single topic? I'd say the spectacle of the Summer Festival is worth 100 times whatever they're yammering on about. In fact, what do you say we bring Mary with us next year? With all this romance in the air, some man will certainly catch her fancy. Yes, I'm sure of it. She already fancies a man. A good man, I'm sure. What do you say, folks? Who wants to try our special tropical mix? Don't forget to watch your step. It can get dark around here. Thank you. That's so nice. He didn't have to say that, but he did. <laughs> <laughs> the summer festival is back and more beautiful than ever. I should splurge a little today. Buy myself something tasty to eat. The lights of the festival look especially beautiful this year. The council and the tax reforms have had me on edge for a while. But tonight, I'm just going to relax with my wife. My husband has been under a lot of stress lately, so I decided to take him out tonight. It's such a beautiful night. It would be a shame to waste it cooped up indoors. Agreed. Ah, she looks beautiful. Ah, oh, this whole city is spectacular. Ah, if we must. To be fair, the woman makes a fine ice cream. I suppose we might as well go since we're here. The granny's ice cream stall is back this year. We've got to get some frozen goodness before she sells out. Where are the granny? Well, look who's back. 
we're getting toward the end of the festival, so if you're on the fence about your order, just know that there are no wrong decisions. This particular ice cream is only available at the summer festival, so make sure to try it out before we sell out. Ooh. Thank you. Let's see. Who? I don't think I spoke to this man here, this tourist. This place is gorgeous. Yes, it is. It's even more magnificent than they say. I just can't stop taking pictures. Oh, I would take I would take so many pictures. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. So this is Ortis' summer festival. It's totally amazing. Honestly, this has been a rough time for me. I made a boatload of cash at the casino in Raquel, but then I got mugged by some punks. Aww. And if that wasn't crappy enough, I got in a fight with Cornette, too. But the atmosphere here is perfect. I'm sure I can use the festival to get her back. Aww. Good luck, Danny. I'm sure you mean well. Wow, this is really beautiful. I was furious at Danny for blowing all the money we'd save up at the casino. Oh. <laughs> okay, then. Bad Daddy. He really does seem sorry. I suppose I can forgive him if he apologizes properly. After all, we did travel all the way to Ordis just to take in the sights together. It would be a waste to stay mad at him. Oh, she's a reasonable girl. She's a good girl. Don't lose her, Danny. Don't be stupid. Okay, let's see. Um... Yes, that's it. Now we can go inside the places. Let's go to Kleistamol. I don't think we'll see Hugo here. He's never here. So Kleistamol was up to some real shady business behind the scenes. What a shame. From now on, I'll compare the two stores. Fair and square. We were rivers, rivers. <laughs> we were rivals with uh, Lucioles, the ingredient shop in Riviera Court. But it wasn't fair up until now. I'm really sorry. But that being said, I still don't like shops that have a noble influence. Hm. Just watch. Even if we did this fairly, we would still win. I'm glad that couple from Lucioles accepted our apology. But that being said, la pa pa. What you got? Oh, you know what? I haven't made a recipe in a while. Aren't I missing one somewhere? Yup, here. And I, oh, and here. Gosh darn it. I don't know who does them. Let's see. Please eat it all. Even if it's not good. Please do the golden one. Please, please. It turned But out. they don't. Let's begin. Lisa, please. I beg you. Not bad. Gosh darn it, I guess. Who else? Let's do this. Oh, maybe Gaius? I don't have Gaius yet. Or Eusis. Right. Yeah, it's probably Gaius or Eusis, so I should just stop. I should just wait till I have them. Okay, um here we go. Hmm. I was reading in the bookstore and before I knew it, it had gone pretty late. I think I'll buy something and continue reading at home. Go for it, kid. It's good to read. You actually bought the Black Records book. Guess it takes all kinds, huh? It's not the book that I ordered. It was mixed in with the package that was sent to me. Oh, I see. Now, who would have thought you could buy the Black Records at a regular bookstore? I mean, the cover's just black and I can't read the words. I don't know if it's even worth anything. Anyhow, it was sent to us, so that means we can sell it, right? Thank you for your purchase. She really doesn't hold back, does she? She's a true merchant. Huh? <laughs> Something's off. Hmm. Black record sounds intriguing, but... Hmm. Yes, we already have all of this. Thank you. Wads and Sherman came by earlier to apologize for all the trouble they caused. After seeing how they've struggled, I can't be too hard on them. I hope they can overcome everything that happened. Oh, everyone here is so nice. Ah, oh, I should have exchanged my sepets there. I'm so stupid. Okay, let's go to Riviera Court.
We're here on vacation, but you've had to spend the whole time babysitting. Oh, it's fine, my lady. More importantly, have you taken a look outside? It's so pretty. The summer festival has started. Shall we take a look around? Yes! Lady Luna was looking forward to it as well. My lady was able to go on a nice shopping spree with Master. And now, for the moment Lady Luna's been waiting for, let's all go around town together. I was agonizing over buying a certain lo lotion, but then my husband just bought it and gave it to me as a present. It's so expensive though, but I think I'm sort of happy. I'm going to use it with the utmost care. Father, do you see those lights on the ocean? There are so many lights. Please tell me what they are. Those are spirits that live in Ordis. Really? <laughs> Just kidding. You lied to me again? Huh. I'm done shopping here, so I'm going to take a look around town. Luna's cute even when she's pouting. <laughs> Ugh, I can't trust you, father. <laughs> oh, that's cute. The manager of Clyde's mall came here to apologize. I'm glad to hear that those awful rumors weren't true. Now I can shop with peace of mind. Let's see what you got for us. Earlier, Herc from Clive's Mall came to apologize. We agreed to forget everything that happened and decided to compete for sales during the summer festival. <laughs> Honestly, our quality is better and we make more profit per sale. Plus, we have a long established rapport with our clientele. There's no contest. Ooh. I wonder if they'll say later who won. Oh, Ferris will speak to you in a bit. So the issues with Clyde Small were resolved. <sighs> How long do I have to work here? My lady, please find a new worker. <laughs> Okay, Tinker. Okay, thank you. After much thought, I believe what sets our stores apart from the rest of our commitment is our commitment to courtesy. I don't plan to sacrifice that in order to lower prices. It's not all about profits. We strive to give our clients complete satisfaction. Dr. Mishi. Thank you. Welcome to Rivia Record, everyone! <clears throat> Don't worry, we're not here to cause any trouble. We've come to apologize again and discuss reparations. After all the trouble we cause, it's the least we can do. No matter what it takes, we want to make things right. Glad to hear it. But wow, you guys are sure are working hard. You don't even have the summer festival off? Why not take a break? At least for tonight. <laughs> An excellent idea. Try some of our tea and snacks. I wouldn't allow any true rival of mine to refuse. Uh, <laughs> right. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like Class Seven's old rivals haven't lost their edge. Jeez, Leonora still got it. Nevertheless, it's pitiful getting chewed out by a girl who's seven years younger than me. I feel pretty ashamed about it. I'm just really sorry for what I've done. I, I think I was just too focused on work and lost sight of what's important. I would like to give another formal apology someday. <laughs> so much has happened, but nonetheless, I will show both of them the utmost respect. Oh right, I should inform Elisa as well. In fact, she gave me a lot of advice on how to gather evidence. I'll need to be sure to thank her properly. Okay, I feel like, oh yes, the hotel. Let us finally, where we started the video, finish up. Maid, give me something to snack on. Of course, I'll bring some cheese out for you. There's a tip waiting for you if you get the chef to make me something. 
Slip of the tongue, sir. I meant our finest sea snails and caviar canop. Would you also like to try our some twenty-year-old stein rose? <laughs> You're a shrewd businesswoman. I like you. The customers come here to enjoy a light drink. Services that are outside the regular scope are troublesome, so they give us a tip. Ah, Marquis Ballad. I'm guessing he had a hangover today. I stuck my neck out by covering for him after he came to the council drunk yesterday. I should demand something from him in return later. Good luck with that. <laughs> Welcome. This is a joyous summer festival night. We are holding a ball and a buffet at a hotel. Everyone is welcome as long as they buy a ticket. Excluding minors, of course. We began opening our summer festival ball to commoners and it's proven to be a big hit. I admit it does feel a bit different. But even so, having the general public participate isn't so bad. Yeah, I bet it's not so bad in your wallet. We are currently offering a buffet service in the terrace area. Our wine and seafood are locally sourced from right here in Ordis. I wish you a wonderful summer festival this evening. Thank you very much. No, no, no. No resting. We do not need rest. I don't think we do. <gasps> Does resting restore our CP? Okay, then sure. We will rest a bit. If it doesn't, I'm going to be so mad. I think it does. Ah, oh, a good break. <laughs> Fine. A, a donation to the hotel as if they needed one. Can we go? No, even though they told us about it, we can't go. Wow. <laughs> Is there anything else out here? Any other place I haven't visited? during this beautiful summer festival. Nope, that's it, I think. All right, guys, this is a good place to stop this episode. We got to finish the other half of Ordis. I'm so excited. We got to explore everything that is a summer festival. I have no idea what that story event is right there next to the highway. I'm guessing it's just to go back to camp. I was hoping we'd get to do some activities. I'm surprised there was only one side quest. Um, but still, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was beautiful. And I'm glad they even let us <laughs> explore the festival at night. They didn't have to, but they did. And I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like, comment below your thoughts, share the video, and subscribe to this channel for more episodes into the series. Until the next one, you take a lot of care. Jenny.